chapter in Azure Virtual Networking series. In the last video, we did network security groups, and today we are going to talk about somewhat related topic, then, and that is application security groups, as you saw on the screen. So first, we will talk about what application security group is, and what problem it's going to solve for us. Then we will jump into our demo and by the end of this video i am also going to talk about the limitations of application security groups which would be helpful pointers for your as your interviews or certification exams so stay with me till the end of the video so first of all what is an application security groups basically the application security group enables you to group together your servers with a similar function such as web servers, application servers or database servers. Now by grouping them together in this manner uh, with the help of application security groups, it helps you an easy management of your security rules or policies through network security groups. So, so you can reuse those security policies without doing any editing or maintenance of your IP addresses. One thing here you need to you might need to know that in application security groups you cannot create any security rules or security policies as you can do in network security groups. When you attach or associate a network interface uh, with an application security groups, you have an option for that nick that it can be a member of multiple application security groups. Now let's see what problem application security group solves for us. So let's first of all see a snapshot of the rules of a network security groups <coughs> where you can see uh, we don't have uh, application security groups and this is a snapshot of my network security rules where if I need to allow traffic from internet to a web server I need to put up a web server IP here and then the other information this is okay if you have a one web server or two web server what happens if you have multiple web servers then you need to put either the range of the IP addresses or the individual IP of your web servers similarly if you want to deny access to one of your DB servers then again you need to specify the IP of that DB server of the IPs of the multiple DB servers now if you want to give access within your own network from your application server which is in which might be part of a different subnet than the part of a subnet which is the DB server is again you need to specify those IP addresses as the source and at the destination also now what changes application security group brings now I'm going to show you a snapshot of rules uh, network security rules which we have done with the help of web sorry application security groups now in this scenario if you see if I'm allowing the traffic from internet at port number 80 uh, and I'm putting destination as in a web application security group here I need not to put up the IP address of my web server in case the web server's IP is being changed I just need to associate that nick to the application security group and I need not to change anything else in the security rules when I want to add more servers to it, again there is no need to play with the security rules. I just add that server into the web application security group and this security rule would be valid for that group as well. Similarly, when I need to give an access to my uh, internal uh, resources which are part of two different subnets, let's say ASG logic and DBSG, if I'm adding servers here, removing servers here or adding servers here, removing servers here, those addition or removal will not affect this security rule as long as we have an application security group and those servers are part of these. So that's how your application security groups helps you or helps in the ease of management of managing your security rules or policies. So now let's talk about what kind of a demo I have for you. If you look at it, we'll have uh, I'll already have this VNet configured and we have a web server which is hosting a small little website of ours and we have an application server and here I have a snapshot of the current NSG1 inbound security rules and if we see we have stopped or we have denied all 
traffic at port number 80 from anywhere to this destination here i have not used the application security group but we're going to change it now and we uh, we see how using application security group help us in ease of our maintenance of security rules so currently there is no way where you can reach uh, this uh, http traffic to my web server or to my application server and you can see in both the subnets i have used a single or similar kind of a or the same network security group here so which has contained similar rules now what we'll do we'll add application security groups and we'll add one rule and that way we can take care of this traffic which is currently being blocked from everywhere that only the servers which are part of that application security group would be able to talk to my web server and other servers which might be part of the same subnet uh, which has got the similar uh, network security group rules they will not be able to so we'll add those application security groups and see how it goes so let's jump into the portal and see how does it work so here is my network i would like you to have a look into the uh, architecture first so if i just go here select my damn, uh, resource group and if you look at it here we currently have one web server that is server one and another app server which is again okay, uh, named as app server one and we have got this nsg which is applicable to app subnet as well as the web subnet and you have seen the security rules i'll show you again if you look at it, the inbound security rules so we have got this deny all and if you look at it this is denying everything and it has got the highest priority because it has got a lower number assigned to it if you have any a doubt about creating these inbound security rules you can uh, watch our earlier video about the network security groups and how to create uh, the customized security rules and how to work with the default ones so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly create an application security group so you can find from here you just type asg you can find it here or if it is uh, if you have used it uh, frequently it will start showing at your dashboard itself so click on application security groups Currently we have one application security group, we're going to just uh, ignore it and going to create one more and give it a name, I'm going to uh, first uh, select a resource group, give a name, I'll call it uh, let's say app ASG, I'll stay with the same region and we'll talk about these things when we talk about the limitations, uh, limitations of our applic uh, uh, application security groups. I'm going to skip the tags although it's very important to put that but i'm going to skip it in for the uh, demo here click on review plus create and it's going to take some time it's passed and it has been let's click on create and it will take some time before we get our security groups ready i mean application security groups ready you can see uh, we have our uh, application security group ready if you go to resource and here we cannot have any i mean we don't have any way to create security rules and here we cannot put any servers as well so let's go back and i'll show you how you can attach your or associate your application security groups with your servers so let's say well, let's go to app server one i want to add one application security group to it i'll go to networking and if i go here if you look at it I'll look at the networking part you'll find here application security groups and click on configure the application security group here you can select yours either app or web whatever you want what is applicable to you this is for my application uh, security group or for the app server so i'm going to select this one you can select multiple also so that uh, because we discussed earlier that you can have multiple uh, application security groups uh, for a single nick also i'm going to save it it is being saved i'll do one thing I'll go back and check the other secure application security group and I'll put it to my web server. So here let's go to the uh, server one and if I go to the networking again quickly I'll go to application security group configure it and this I'm going to make part of web application security group. I'm going to save the configuration. So now this will make our uh, management of security rules easier and we can use those security rules without editing if we add or remove servers later on now let's go back click on our network security group if you go to network watcher just have a relook at the topology again 
which will give an, a good idea how things are moving now so it still remains same we have this uh, app server one which is on app protection subnet and we have app server one which and they got a common uh, network security group associated with both the subnets so let's go back click on network security groups this is our network security groups i'm gonna add and before we do that let's see whether it's working or not so i'm gonna go to my virtual machine and this is my application server i'm gonna copy this ip address here and i'm gonna do the rdp so let's connect here let's put the username username and password click ok let's see if it goes and we have logged in i have added this uh, rdp rule as well so that i can rdp and show you what's actually happening now we have got a if i go to portal and if i go to my virtual machine this is the server one which is which has got a little i i mean uh, website and this is the ip address 10.1.1.4 so if i just go back and if i try to browse it web, uh, website or the web page it is not supposed to work and say it's not working it will not go because there's a deny rule which is stopping the traffic even between the subnets so it's going somewhere else it's not working let's go back and try to fix it with the help of application security groups let's go back add some rule go to inbound security rules add now this time we're going to make a source of application security group and what i'm saying is uh, application security group which is named as app asg i'm going to use it because mm, the server which is here in which currently i'm logged in this is a server which is part of a uh, app asg and from here i'm gonna access that website so i'll keep the source port range on you know, asterisk destination i'm gonna put port number 80 or you can say again application security group go for web asg because we have added that other web server into this uh, application security group this is going to be my port and i'm going to allow it and this time i'm going to make it 100 so that it has a higher priority than the deny one because once a match is found evaluation of the rules stops that's why i'm giving a higher priority i'm saying allow http subnet app i'm going to click add so the rule will be added it's going to take some time in the meantime let's go back and see whether it's still working or not if the rule has been updated it's still start working not yet it's going to take some time And here we go, it's working. So this was the, uh, see how you can manage or how you can uh, configure and associate your application security group. Let's go back to our presentation and see what are the limitations which you need to take care of. So first is, you can specify only one application security group as the source and destination in a security rule you cannot have multiple application security groups in the source or in the destination you can have only one and which we just saw and then you cannot add network interfaces from different virtual networks to the same application security groups very very important to remember let's say we have a network interface assigned to an application security group and we are giving a name as web asg and this web ASG is in the virtual network named vnet1 then all that subsequent network interfaces should assign to web ASG must exist in vnet1 they cannot be part of any other vnet so your ASG has a limitations of a same vnet then all network interfaces for both even for the source as well as for the destination 
your application security groups need to exist in the same virtual network. Let's uh, try to understand with the help of example. Let's say we have an app ASG uh, which contain network interfaces from VNet 1 and then we have a DB uh, ASG that is application security group which contains network interfaces from VNet 2. You cannot assign app ASG as the source and DB ASG as a destination in a rule. Why? Because app ASG is part of VNet 1 and DB ASG is part of VNet 2. So to be a source and destination they should be part of either VNet 1 or VNet 2. There is a limitation of maximum 3000 uh, application security groups per region per subscription which you need to keep in mind. So that's it guys, that's for the uh, demonstration today. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.